Welcome again to the dosimeter dashboard demonstration. This is for advanced users and I'm going to show you how to select where and how the, uh, the data files are stored on, on the computer. I'm going to connect to a cradle. Now under File Preferences, if you go to the Data, data File Locations tab, you will see that there are two different locations here. One is, to, is where you want to save the raw data files and the other is where you want to save the tabular data files. Click anywhere in the box and select wherever you want it to go. I'm going to put them in Scientera dosimeter data and I have a folder called testing. For simplicity, I'm going to put the tabular data in the same place. You can also select whether or not the tabular data is tab delimited or comma delimited. Uh, that is up to you and it depends what you're going to use the data for. Comma delimited is more industry standard. Tab delimited tends to import into Microsoft Excel without uh, tinkering around with the settings too much. Under File Format, you can select between two different options. Uh, one is Badge ID, Deployment Date, Participant ID. The other is Badge ID, Download Date, Participant ID. This underscore raw dot text is for the raw data. For the tabular data, it will be underscore tab dot text. Once you get things how you want them to be, click OK. Now go to File and Save Preferences. By clicking Save Preferences, you are saving those to be the default preferences that are loaded every time the dosimeter dashboard runs. Now under Automation, go to Options. Under the Data Options tab, you will see that there are several options for UV data, temperature data, battery voltage data. For now, you can only select the raw data to display in the tabular file. However, in the future you will also be able to display calibrated data in the tabular file. You can also select whether or not to generate the tabular file automatically and whether to include the UV data, temperature data, and battery data. Click OK and again go to File, Save Preferences. This now becomes the default for every time that the dosimeter dashboard loads. I'm going to now insert a badge. Badge detected. I'm going to read the data. If you wanted to read faster, you can change this step to a very large number. What that means is that it's going to only plot one out of every 500 data points. Output files are ready. Now if you go to Graph, you still have the axis of every every data point. So you have the full full resolution both in the graph and the tabular data locations. The only difference is this um, preview plot right here will be a little bit sparser with the five, 500 step. So now if you go to the locations where we said that we wanted to store the data files, let's have a look. Scientera, Dosimeter, Data, testing. There they are. Let's have a look. And indeed, that looks like very good data. That's all. I hope that this has been informative. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact Scientera.